Welcome back, everybody. Did you just hear a cat? I see sheep. But anyway, welcome back to Oregon Springs, folks. It's been a while. And so glad to have this map back up without any uh, altercations to it. Um, we're down here on the sheep farm. But anyway, um, this farm is similar to 17 here on Oregon Springs 17 with your host, not the most, Tommy Miller, Mr. Blue Farms. <sighs> That's a mouthful, folks. Now, I know I heard a meow. Oh, what? Oh, it's a kitty cat. Hey, kitty kitty. How you doing? All right. Anyway, back to farming. Uh, I don't know who lives here. Um, probably Jason or somebody. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, as you can see, we got the JCB. We got the, a new bucket for it. We got some uh, grass here that they kicked out. We got to clean up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Bubba. Uh huh, Bubba. Uh, I bought this wagon because I thought I could take the grass. Because once you pick it up with this, you can't put it back in. Uh, at least not while it's full, anyway. Um. As you can see, the sheeps are full of grass and water, and 12% uh, on a wool pallet. 65 hours before the next animal is born, and 108 reproduction. We're going to have to get that down so they can, uh, yeah, we're going to have to start getting them about maybe 100 sheep so they help us out. Still ain't got no pigs or cows yet. Uh, I have been fast forwarding time and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I, I love this truck. I just really, really love this truck. But anyway, the theory was I was going to pick that uh, grass up with that, put it in here, and it would save itself. But as you can see, the trailer is empty. I had 31 liters in here last night, or yesterday. And it's all gone, folks. So that theory's out. I thought I could cover it up and save it, but Seasons takes it anyway. Whoa, I didn't want that. But Season takes it anyway. So, uh, yeah. That's the theory of the sheep farm. So there's our wool pallet. Spawns right here. Uh, animal trailer. We got some water. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it up here. I thought the pallets spawned out there, but they don't. But um, as far as I know, you still have to water them way out here. And I don't know why they done that, but I ain't going about to move it because I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up. All right. Um, yeah, I had... I, going to get a skid steer but it didn't have a hitch on the back so i got this thing here it's got the hitch on the back we do the trailer and stuff but uh we want to get something up here that will store silage or get a bell spike for this thing because our um watch me call it's way down there or bell storage um so yeah, but we need something to put this grass back in because it's wasting a lot of the grass. It's about seven liters each time I have to clean it up, looking like this. No, it don't sound like much, but it is over a long term. But anyway, folks, uh, I'm gonna clean this up, and then we're gonna get started farming. go all right i want to be right back and uh we'll get started planting okay all right we're over here with our uh 9560 rt or 9rt 
And folks, we are fixing to uh, put this baby in the gear and get going. Um, oh, hang on. I just want to do this. There we go. As you can see, uh, actually it rained early this morning. So that's why it's so late in the day because that moisture thing just went off for about two minutes ago. Um, it's going to be raining tomorrow, so we're going to have to get planted much as we can today. So, uh, we should be able to cover a lot of ground with this thing, but we're going to have to hurry up and get rid of this thing. Um, let's see, I am going to go down that way and start about right here. You got to make a round on each end for this thing to turn around. Um, I don't know why I even started that yet. Um, turn on sower. We're going to be planting soybeans. Just for the record, uh, it's our second day into planting soybeans. I like doing it that way because there's no guesswork. Temperature's right. And you see they're in, a, in the blue there. And up here, you know, well already. All right, here we go. Planting soybeans. I got somewhat right here. Thing's a little rough on the inside, ain't it? I like cause the mirror works. All right, time to get to uh, talk to y'all about what happened to Oregon Springs. Um, as you may know, I installed the Chrome Big M mower, Big M 500 mower. And it was working great and stuff as far as, you know, cutting the grass and stuff. It would tether it. I mean, not tether, but it would wind roll it into uh, where we can use the baler right behind it. And that was fine and dandy until I realized I couldn't log back into the game. Don't want to plant a highway. But yeah, uh, I thought it was the grain tanks. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't save a backup. Because usually I'll have a copy of the zip file where, you know, like I'll pull it out from the game. I'll go put it in a folder where I can work on it. But I'll save a, a, a folder, you know, a file in case I do something wrong. But I forgot to do it that time. I took those grain tanks out. And you have to go back and watch the last episode. You'll see where I took the grain tanks out. They wasn't no working grain tanks. Except by the pigs. Uh, not the pigs, but the chicken area. There was two up there that did not work. They are just there for the looks. So I figured I'd take them out and make room for the ones that would work. And also down by Blue Line Seeds, the same thing. Um, there was three there that wasn't working. So I just pulled them out. I figured, you know, we'll put some grain tanks in there later after we get some money and stuff. And uh, go from there. But, uh, all right, let's uh, raise this baby up. Back up. Oh, come on now. Okay, there we go. Alright, let it down, turn back on. Now, this is actually too wide. I think it's. When we'll buy this, uh, we are leasing this, by the way. And it's 17000 each night for the vehicles we got. So, we're going to have to cut that in the butt. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. We're going to have to kick it in the butt. Alright. I, I think one. One. Uh, across the ends will work. We're going to have to get our GPS started. And. Uh, we don't cut too short. 
clear something up, Mr. Blue. Uh, generally, that course is way off. I'm going to try to shoot for another course here. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Autocorrect. Take that blue line off. I'm going to hit new. Uh, I've got to turn that just a little. Probably like that. Now we're going to have to get some uh, bales rolling again. See, we're going to try that right there. Uh, let's see here. Turn our solar on. Let it down. And take off. I'm going to watch this for a little bit, folks, to make sure it's going to be about right. Let's see, we're going to hire a worker. Uh, let's go, let's see, not, not sheeps, we don't done sheeps. All right, this is what I want to do. I know this is an ugly, ugly board palette situation here, but hey, I got them all on here. And this is end of the palette making. Um... From here on out, we're going to sell our logs if we do any. Um, this, this was very nerve-wracking. Right, as you can see, the rest of them are not selling. That's a reason for that. Uh, let's see. Work position. Unload to the right. And unload all right we're up to 59,000 that's good uh, we're gonna put this trip back on the bales uh, we're just gonna leave it right here for right now put it out of the way but we could do have the front bumper on there for the bales helps out wonderful all right let's get back to this guy and see if he's gonna turn around all right uh, Jason matter of fact Oh, uh, well, we'll have to come back and do some headlands, look like. But at least he's going to be turning around all right. Ah, I don't want the sheeps. All right, this is what I want. I took the board pallet here. There ain't nothing there. Showing 222, but that's what was in this pallet when I took it. I cleaned up all these. These are stationary. You can't move when they're in game. Uh, we got our trucks parked down here. The log trailer is leased. This tractor right here is leased. And those two buggies over there are leased. So we're going to have to get rid of them. But let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. Um, there we go. Oh, now i got to make another trip. I don't want to put it in the other thing right there because that's uh, for the fuel. And uh, we're not going to be running it anytime soon. So, so I can put all the wood chips over here. And as you can see right here on the scoreboard, I'm going to back up a little. It's 15,846 15, wood chips. And y'all probably think, well, why you got that big old thing just for storage of the wood chips? Well, it's also going to be a grain storage uh, once we start getting some fields down this way. All right, this is what we got left. Zero and 860 is the closest I can get it with a 613 logs. And it just shut down, wouldn't work no more. So I'm like, okay, time to end it. Uh, we got all the logs that we can get, all the board pallets and stuff. So this area is going to be shut down for a while. Uh, World War Three gaming is probably going to be proud. Uh, we're going to have to plant some trees for him, folks. He, he loves trees. Uh, 
Only thing is, all I can plant is fir trees. If I are trees, I don't know what they're called. Exactly in real life. Let's say our grass field over here has not come up yet. Um, let's see. We're going to part some of this equipment right here. Then we'll go ahead and close our crap. Whoa. Get out of the ground. Oh, Lord. There we go. Let's get back right there. Let's just there. Because uh, we'll probably use them later on for something else. Or might get another tractor put up here that's a little bit cheaper. But uh, this and these two right here, we're fixing to send back. So let's go to our garage. Go over to our lease. And there you see we got our fire drill trailer timber render. Uh, two of these guys. A uh, nice tractor here and our seed drill. So we're going to get rid of the tractor. And this will take our. Uh, I mean, it's just one. Um, we got enough money to buy that. So we want to go ahead and return it. So we got one thing that's under the lease. In our garage. Did we buy that one? I thought we rented it. Both of them. As you can see, we're getting quite a. Uh... Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. At least we don't have to pay. Uh... Well, we was paying rent on our baler, but we turned around and bought it, so. And this little guy's fixing to go bye bye too as soon as we get the uh oh there's two of them. Well one of them's fixing to go bye bye. And uh yeah. That's all the stuff we got. Quite a bit. Alright, so we do have one buggy and uh, that's gonna be helpful because that's two hundred thousand liters and we still got our Bronx. We just gotta buy another tractor for up here. This thing is supposed to be all. I fast forward time for quite a bit. Well, at least I ain't gonna make too much. Okay, let's go back to oh the sheep. Uh, let's go check on Jason real quick. Oh no. I should have known. It's going to have to watch your turns. I may have to do this for myself if he ain't going to be able to make his turn here. Might have to kind of like start wide here and get narrow down that way, kind of help angle it out. Why is our GPS off? GPS way off. Okay. Well, hire a worker again. Hopefully. Ah, oh, we got J Metal 797 in the house doing it this time. Oh, get back up here. Yeah, there you go. Down at the bottom screen. J Metal 797. Appreciate you coming out driving with my tractor, bud. Alright, this is what we're going to do. Finish filling this thing up. We'll fix to let him go bye bye here. We might keep him, I don't know. But, uh, that's all we got in there right there. 17,432. Uh, we're going to buy two augers for this thing. Um, I don't know if I got them installed yet or not. Let's see. Be under auger wagons. I got one of them, which we we can use these two. Let's 
So I know we're going to need that. We'll go ahead and buy it. And this in here, I just don't know. I like to get the Belco and see if we can use it. So let's hang on on that. And you see, this is so low. You have to have enough auger here to go up into the truck because it's so low. But the oven will reach to the top. All right, we got to uh, get busy on our uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. chickens. Keep on trying to say pigs. I guess we need to start pigs. Right, I do have the 6R up here on the straw wagon because I was going to try to get it empty. Got some other plans for it later on. All right, they didn't hold as much. Uh, need some water right now. We got 336 chickens. Um, next chicken in 25 minutes. So we're doing pretty good. I want to try to let them get to about 400. And anything over 400 will sell. Whoa. But anything over 400 will sell this uh, next time. Like, uh, I think it's. Whoa, just ran over a couple. My bad. But, uh, I need to be putting this in that. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll put it back in for right now. Because it's going to be raining again. Let's go ahead and just drop this back in here and that way we can, uh, see exactly show you what's in there and what's not yeah back up and then reset the trigger you can see the wheat 13,340 and all this other is empty I wish this thing would hold grass but uh yeah that's pretty much it up here uh, what was it we needed water wasn't it I need to check on Jason too. Let's go and inspect. Okay. No, J Metal. My bad. J Metal's running. And folks, the uh, two demands is for soybeans. But we don't have none. 2,379 at the train station. So we got to remember that. But I do have, you know, a little bit of the each, but I'm going to try the wheat and barley. will probably be transferred down here. Uh, I do have some stuff to get a few pigs. But I'll try to get more sheep. And then when we sell a load of wool, we'll buy some pigs. That's what I was thinking about. But pretty much all we got going on right now is, see, I need to uh, get this other tractor out of the way. And what was, we was needing something, wasn't we? Need a little straw, so let's top him off. Come on. These triggers are very sensitive. Ah, right, they're full. I'm just going to park this guy right up here. We got 188,000 liters of straw left. Um, I have not been seeing any of it disappear from seasons, so I don't know what's the difference between it and grass, but, uh, I'm 
Okay. Then get a trigger. Uh, best way I found to get the trigger with this water trailer is make a circle like this and stop the back tire on this trigger. Uh, right there at the first square. Say the trigger comes up. Oh. If you miss it, you have to back up. Back in kind of slow. And voila. And that should take care of the chickens. Yeah. They're going to be good to go. All right. And our tank's empty. Let's go ahead and go over here. Refill our tank. And then we'll go check on Jay Meadow again. There we go. Ah. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good. We'll be done in no time. But we got uh, the field we're in and part of that field over there. And then uh, I don't know if y'all saw it last episode or not, but let's see, we got a tractor somewhere right here. And it's field number six. I've done a lot of tree work on it. Uh, remember the island in the middle right there? I took it out and uh, took some trees down there out. Uh, this is our cultivator. I think I showed y'all. God, it's dirty. Been doing a lot of work. I like this cultivator. It's slow, but um, I like the rollers here on the back. You got the spiky ones, and then you got the little bladed ones. And these cutters here. And some more cutters there. But no plows. But the the eight eight thousand uh y'all can pronounce that I can't I think it's by Coon. Uh let's see. I don't know if we got a mission here or not. Yeah, see over the top right corner. It's been doing that a lot here lately since the Moore incident. And uh shows be no missions. So that's a bummer. Mm, I guess we can go ahead and hook this truck up to this trailer. All right. I swear those sheep. Okay, we're going to have to do a little work here, it looks like. That'll be too far for him to regain, so. And it looks like that side over is done. Let's see, let's double check. And yeah, we are all green except for down there by the uh, bio plant. All right. Oh, you would miss this one little dot, would you? Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get uh, back over here, shall we? Alright, our GPS is a little bit off. Uh, And I don't know, the hired worker just don't want to crop rate right for some reason on this. There we go. I think that's about right on right there. But yeah, uh, folks, don't mind. Go down below in the description box down there. Got some awesome YouTubers. Awesome family members, I should say. Um, check them out and uh, subscribe if you want to to them. And uh, speaking of subscribing, if you ain't subscribed already to my channel, please do so if you want to. Um, also hit that like button. And uh, uh oh, let's raise this thing up and see if we can try to back up. 
don't, 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 don't start turning. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Look at barely off. And it's not gonna. We want to scoot it over next time we go back down. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these two spots where we're working. Yeah, this thing is way too wide, unless there are other leaves. So as soon as we get done with the soybeans, this guy's going to go back. We're probably going to go with uh, a different kind of planter in the next uh, planting air season or whatever. Um, a couple of John Deere planters. They'll all be the same, but we'll probably get another track tractor, which we need another track tractor bad. Right, let's lock that on. We're going to move this over. And then turn it just a slight way up. No. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. But yeah, I'm so thankful to have Oregon Springs back working. That's one of my favorite maps. Uh, no Creek Farms and Autumn Oaks, which y'all haven't seen yet. Uh, they're awesome maps too. But uh, autumn. Speaking of autumn oaks, it will be coming out uh, day before May first. I think it's uh, April the thirty-first or April the thirtieth, whatever. It, it's the uh, the last Monday of April that uh, Autumn Oaks will be coming out, folks. Uh, it's just a day before May 1st. It's that Monday. Uh, they'll probably be coming out in the mornings. Uh, 11.30. And by the way, if y'all haven't noticed, I did switch my times. It just helps me out. It'll be 11.30 and 2.30 when videos are posted. Um, I got a storm video that was released here a couple days ago, so go back and check it out. Um, I think it was on Saturday, I think. Don't hold me to it. I also got a little lawnmower video coming out, too. Uh, I need to process it real soon. Real, real, real soon. But uh, it's kind of like a, I'm just changing the blade out. That's pretty much all I'm doing on it. And some of y'all might like it. Some may not. It's just one of those things. But, uh, yeah. So... I guess I'm going to do some of this off screen. I'm not for sure. Uh, I really don't know what we're going to do uh, while everything is growing. Uh, I know i got to get rid of this thing. I hope I use all the seeds out about right. I need to get a palletizer so I can get my seeds uh, palletized. If not, I need to get a small auger wagon. But I'll probably rent one instead of uh, buying one right now because this thing may go over the ground, which I think the usage needs to be turned up on it because it, it's really not doing is not planting enough. Whew. Back up and get that. For a second there, I thought it wasn't going to plant in this field. But there's our other crops. We got, uh, what do we have? Let's check it out real quick. We got sugar beets, I know. Um, 
sugar beets, canola, and corn. Now, I don't want to bust no bubbles, but on Shenelitans, I misplanted some, and it seemed to be work. I, I was able to harvest it. So let's, let's check and make sure there's corn we can do the same way. Um, everything's looking good so far on it. But uh, we go, we'll have uh, soybeans, wheat, barley, sugar beets, canola, and corn uh, for this harvest. And the growth is coming along pretty good. And the soil look like everything's going to be good to go except for six. Uh, we'll probably have to spray it before we plant. That's no problem. We got a sprayer, so. But anyway, folks, let's see about... About 36 minutes in, so I'm gonna plant this field here, and then on field six, I will come back in the next episode. We'll spray it and plant and go from there. Let's see. I think I want to stop right there, and uh, just gonna make a U-turn here. Don't want to run over none of the crops. But folks, yeah, I uh, appreciate all y'all coming out and enjoying my videos, I hope. I love uh, each and every one of y'all. Ooh, that back straight. Let me shut that off real quick. It's on here. Uh, but yeah, it's canola there. Uh, I ain't going to run down that way. It's sugar beets. But here's the corn. It does look a little puny so hopefully it will go we'll just have to wait and see folks if not we're gonna have to plow it up um but yeah i love each and every one of y'all folks here's our sprayer and there's our disc and trying to find our lawnmowers there's our auger wagon still showed we had our lawnmower so i don't know where they're at But anyway, um, just want to say thank you to all of you. Oh, there's one right there. Good. Say thank you to all of you, and I love each and every one of y'all. And y'all have a, a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all in the next episode, folks. Later.